Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Eustace Farmer, and I hope you're all doing well today. So, in today's mod showcase, I would like to present you with the light materials bucket for the telehandler. Um, this has a current capacity of 10,000. It just updated today, um, and I noticed it just before I did the mod review. So, before it was like 11 or 12,000, but there was some cantilevering going on, a um, little seesaw action with the bucket. Um, so he knocked the weight down to 10,000. Um, and that did make a difference. However, um, I, there is still some little bit of cantilevering going on. And I'll show you with all the models of the telehandler. And I'll show you another solution. But before we get started, let me go ahead and jump in and show you on the website. Okay, so here we are in the Mod Hoster website. And as you see, it's Light Materials for Telehandler version 1.4. And he knocked down the weight to 10,000. Um, and that's in the uh, changes section. And here it is, 1.4. And unfortunately, it is now just an uploaded uh, download link, which is very disappointing, I'm sorry to say, uh, because the 1.1 was a direct mod hoster link, and so was the other one. I really wish this would stop. I, I can't say it enough. It's, you know, caused me to not download a lot of mods. But anyway, enough of my whining. Okay, so the link will be down in the description because this is a mod show. But for any other uh, mods that you see in my regular Let's Plays, you can get a hold of those in my mod list on 3dudesgn.com. That is our gaming network. It's myself, TBF Gaming, and Mr. Species 7. So please do come on over and join our forum. We have a lot of great people and a lot of good times over there. Okay, so let's see. Let's get in the Manitou first. So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you with the standard bucket. So we'll lift it up. Now, generally, you're probably only going to go about this high, but you can see this thing is rocking and rolling already. So, like I say, um, there's a few things that Giants needs to work on. And, you know, as far as Farming Simulator 17 goes, I really expected a few more innovations. <laughs> and lo and behold, the word innovation is on the back of the telehandler. Um... It needs to be counterweight compatible. Um, I've seen a lot of telehandles in real life. Telehandlers, not telehandles. And they have um, counterweight capability. So I really would have liked to have seen that. So anyway, here we go. So we'll extend it all the way out. So you really don't start getting it too much until you start moving around. And then you're going to get this unstable wobble. Now, of course, like I said, you would expect that when your bucket is fully extended, full, and towering in the air. <laughs> but, um, you know, for most loading of most trailers and stuff like that, you're probably only going to want it here. And you're probably only going to be up as far as here. And you can get away with it. So now the wheel loader bucket used to be the biggest bucket. Well, it still is generally the biggest capacity bucket in the game. But it was 6,400 liters in Farming Simulator 15, and they've knocked it down to 6,000 in 2017. Not quite sure why that happened, but... Um, so you see this one? It's really rocking and rolling right from the start. Um, I don't think it handles the 10,000 very well, but you could certainly get away with it. Um, and of course, once you start to tip um, your silage into your trailer, it's going to you know get better um, so it's definitely usable that's for sure and at a 10,000 capacity you can't go wrong so um, that's that let's go ahead and extend it fully at this level and it's gonna go right down like a seesaw so as you see here you know you're really not gonna have to go that high um, and it's certainly stable enough and I would expect some of this in real life, the, the wobbling side to side and the cantilevering forward and backwards, because um, it's a lot of weight up in the air. <laughs> so, okay, so here we go with the liber. All you really got to do is breathe on it, and away it goes. <laughs> Yeah, see, once you really start to move it around a lot, you're going to get, you know, an accumulating reaction. 
Now let's look at its performance with the regular bucket. Yeah. So it pretty much works appropriately with the with the bucket that's designed uh, to handle it. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to get a little bit of a seesaw going on that, of course. But, like I said, there's not going to be many times you're going to fully extend it like that. And in real life, I probably wouldn't recommend it without a counterweight. Um, so, let's, let's see if we can get it to... Yeah, so you can get it to do a little bouncy-bouncy going on there. Yeah, so the, the in-game bucket, of course, is going to perform better because it's more adjusted. Um, so the shovel is 4,500 capacity for the uh, wheel loader, the standard um, telehandler, excuse me. And there's the 10,000. 3,500 on the manure fork. Okay, so here's the last one. Now, the JCB, I did not like it in 2015 very much because it has a very short um, uh, extending ability um, but it's good for small jobs around the farm you using it for a, a forklift and stuff like that but for heavy duty jobs no and I will say I don't know what it is maybe it's because the arm is in the center but it does not do good on follow me um, it did it did not do well with follow me in 15 and it does not do well with follow me in 17 either so there's just something about this particular vehicle that it doesn't like follow me <laughs> so as you see we're getting it right off the bat but it can handle it okay yeah <laughs> we get that rocking and rolling right off the bat but like I said it still does the job to be fair you'd be transporting this, you know, like this, which it works just fine. And then you would lift it up when you got, you know, nearer the trailer. Let's extend it a little bit. Yeah, so it'll definitely do the job. That's for sure. So, good little telehandler for uh, light jobs around the farm of a small nature. And let's go ahead and put you down. I guess it's just preference. Um, but I figure if you're going to spend the money, why not just invest in one that's uh, got a, wide, a more wide wheelbase that's going to handle... Uh, more of the bigger jobs on your farm as well as the small jobs. You know, get more of an all-in-one thing going, you know? Now, I tried with the water trailer. I'm not even going to bother to show you that because it just didn't work. Um, I tried to, you know, use something else as a counterweight. So that's a full water trailer, and it did not, it did not impact it whatsoever. This did, though. But, you know, when you're loading a, you know, doing a lot of back and forth work you know this is really <laughs> it's really got kind of a bad option but it can be done so as you see you can use this as a pseudo counterweight and it'll help it handle everything you got so that's very impressive so that works out very well so this definitely helps it out. So how convenient is this? Not very. <laughs> um, you know, but it certainly works. But like I said, if you're doing, you know, like manure or something like that, and you're going from the manure pile into a trailer back and forth, th this just sucks lemons. <laughs>
And by the way, this trailer is full of um, wheat, just so you could see there. So it doesn't matter what it is, you know, anything, you know, by volume. Uh, so it works out quite well. But you have to take up one of your crops in there just to be a counterweight. <laughs> so if you don't mind a trailer full of wheat <laughs> just sitting aside as a counterweight, then you're all set. Um, but like I said, not a really good viable option, but it'll get you through in a pinch. So um, very, very handy bucket. I like it a lot. Um, I will certainly use it on my farm. This is going to save you also, in my opinion, from purchasing a wheel loader. So if you're very cost conscious and you're on a strict budget on your farm, uh, for $3,900, you can't go wrong. And then, you know, whatever you want to spend on a telehandle, that's 112 that's 105 This one performs better at 105000 than the 112000 model. 107000 not bad. 92000 for the Liebherr, still usable, not bad at all. So um, I say red X on that job. <laughs> and then, like I say, you look at the, the cheapest wheel loader, 145000 and the bucket's 36 so comparable there. 165 for the New Holland. 4100 for the silage fork. Definitely a cost savings by having the larger bucket on a telehandler. Just a great all-around machine. Okay, so I hope I've brought something to your attention that'll help enhance your farming simulator experience and make uh, your life easier on the farm. So thank you very much for watching, and until we meet again, please take good care of yourself, everybody, and bye-bye for now. And Buttercup says bye, too. <laughs>